I'm April Taylor and I'm from Bristol. I'm with Plateau Music. I'm a signed record deal and I kicked off the festival tonight here at 5 o'clock. It was a real fun show. Well, good deal. Are you looking forward to the rest of the festival? I am because I kicked off the festival so I've got all tomorrow to enjoy all the other artists that have come in. I can't wait to just have a, a day off and enjoy all the different things going on. You can come here and hear a little bit of everything um, from bluegrass to Celtic to rock to southern blues, southern rock and blues. Um, and we're, we're the birthplace of country music so why not have it here? So looking forward to the 10th anniversary of Rhythm and Roots. This event is amazing. It has grown. It's an honor to be a part of it, being that I'm from Bristol, and I so look forward to being a part of it next year. Where can somebody find you online? Um, AprilTaylor.net. Uh, I'm looking at you. All right. I'm Brandon Story, and uh, I'm playing bass with uh, Ed Snodderly and with Sam Quinn and the Japan Ten, and with uh, my band called The Wall of Pop. Tell us a little bit about the Wall of Pop. Uh, it's a band we have that has uh, lots of different instruments. We got a steel guitar, we got a trombone, we got as many old heavy uh, keyboards as you can imagine, and a couple of guitars and some drums. It's a big band and it's a lot of old friends. And Chris Slaughter's in the band, and Alan Gamble, Melanie Remind, David Bedsoul, Mario Story, my wife, and me, Brandon. So it's cool. It's like a uh, we wanted a pop band that was like uh, really big sounding and so we got a pop band that's really big sounding. I do, I love Bristol Rhythm and Roots because uh, bands that you would never get to see around here come. Dr. Dog is here which is a band uh, that I never thought I would get to see live but here they are. And these guys, the Morning Pages are a great band that um, I also would not otherwise get to see and it's in town and they let me play and that makes it fun too. So yeah, it's it's great. And it, it really, every year there's another great band uh, that you get to see that otherwise you wouldn't get to if you live in Bristol. So yeah, it's great. Oh, uh, we are at wallofpop.com. W-A-L-L-O-F-P-O-P.com. We have actually a pretty cool website because our piano player teaches web design. And so we have a cool website. It's the first website I've ever had. And um, it's great. You can listen to us and see us and read uh, all the ridiculous things we say about ourselves and check it out. What's your name? Katie Knopp. Okay, where are you from? Uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, well, I have three dimensional stained glass, uh, which I've been doing for about nine years. It's my fifth year at this festival. and. Just have a great time and love coming out and showing people, you know, handmade artwork. So. What other festivals do you do? Uh, I go down to Florida and do Magnolia Festival, uh, a lot of festivals in North Carolina like Shikori Hills, Grassroots, and uh, mostly music festivals around the area. So, How does Rhythm and Roots stack up? Uh, it's good. It's good. I love the music, uh, good crowd. Um, it's a lot of fun. So. Are you hoping to come back next year for the 10th year? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's an annual thing for me. Uh, yeah, you can find me at katiediditglass.etsy.com and you can see everything online as well. Um, Ken Ramsey, I'm from Hot Springs, North Carolina. I've been doing the clothing for about 10 years or so, but I've been in business probably for about 20, doing various bead work and hemp jewelry and stuff like that. Is this your first time at Rhythm and Roots? Uh, I think this is probably about my sixth time at Rhythm and Roots. How does Rhythm and Roots stack up? Do you, uh, do you like Rhythm and Roots as compared to other festivals you work with? Rhythm and Roots is a real fun show. Good There's a lot of fun ones out there, but this definitely takes a cake. What is it about Rhythm and Roots that you like so well? Uh, it's just the atmosphere, you know. Really like a lot of fun people, a lot of friendly people, a lot of outgoing. It's just a real great time, and anyone who hasn't come out, they should come out and experience it. Now this is a, we do a lot of different instruments. This is a, a banjo shirt, and then we also do a guitar, which is uh, this shirt here, and we have a mandolin in here if you guys want to see one. And these are my repeat customers. They come in here every year. The baby's got one from a couple of years ago. We had to come back and get her another one. And this is With a the guitar on it. Rainbow mandolin. And 
We do have a fiddle. Oh. Well, next year, if you want to see us, it's going to be the 10th anniversary of Rhythm Roots, and we will be here for that. And also, we have a website. It's uh, spiraldies.com. Okay. Bethany Wilson, and we're at Blowfish Emporium, and we've been open. This has finished our fifth week. So, very, very short-lived so far. Um, I got into... Uh, starting up this Emporium is I had several friends who are artists and very very talented several friends who made jewelry also and they were just selling the jewelry out of their purses or to friends and um, when I came to downtown we my husband and I bought this whole building so we actually renovated upstairs to a loft apartment and had this empty space which is a great location and after talking with my friends and looking at their pieces, I just decided to put a store together because downtown's really starting to move and shake and I wanted to offer something different where all sorts of different artists could come in, different mediums from abstract to mixed media to jewelry, photography, pottery, you name it, we probably got it in here. And the Invisible Man, he's been, his little foot, you know, since he's invisible, you know. You mean the one that David's standing on? <laughs> He'll get you. That's right. I want to put get a empty beer can and put it here and be right. chilling, having a little cold beverage. Was it part of the plan to open before Rhythm and Roots and be open? For oh the yeah, time? oh yeah. Definitely wanted to hit big Rhythm and Roots. A lot of the artists in here are actually musicians themselves, so a lot of the artwork is inspired by music. So definitely being a part of Rhythm and Roots, helping them out, getting the story out about um, their paintings and their story and. Have that that definitely was not by accident definitely intentional you can find anything that you want to know about blowfish emporium we have a website is www.blowfishemporium.com or we're also on facebook same thing blowfish emporium and we also offer on thursday evenings what's called the grape easel and it's not a class it's a painting experience that's where you come in i give you a blank canvas i have a paint area set up and one of the local artists comes in and guides everyone step by step. Each one of them will replicate their own picture of that week's painting. So each week we pick a different picture and offer something different, something different to do on a Thursday night. So, yeah. Is it a grape diesel? The grape, G-R-A-P-E. Is there wine? <laughs> on certain events, there are there are some beverage of choice. That. Yeah, <laughs> very fun. My name's Sean Hyler. I run the Burger Bar in Bristol, Virginia. Uh, having Rhythm Roots Festival right now. Yeah, I love it. Love the festival. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a busy time for us. Uh, great music. Uh, meet some cool people. Is it cool having the Piedmont stage right there, be able to hear music while you're working? Oh, it's really nice, yeah. It's, it's one of the three biggest stages down here, so get some of the biggest acts. Yeah, we can just turn off our radio and we can hear the music pretty good from here. Yeah, and uh, I'll be here till 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And then uh, after that, you can see me outside. Uh, come see me.